This is part two of lesson two four. So we move on to some ideas of variables and how we're going to write these variables. And so we introduce three words to you in this lesson. The words are um, expression, equations, and inequalities. So you can read these uh, the definition here. An expression consists of numbers and variables, which looks like these here. An equation always has equal signs with ex an expression. Inequality uses the inequality symbols with an expression. And so you want to make sure you're aware of those um, words here. Also, um, we're going to use the word formula, which is an equation, but really a formula um, is an equation that relates to variables in some way, like uh, in some manner where we're going to use the formula or use this equation to do some calculation for something in the real world. So that's more of a formula, but it is an equation. And often one of the variables is considered output or in inputs, meaning that when you put a number in, you get a number out, which we'll take a look at that. And those variables are called independent or dependent variables um, because it, the independent variable kind of causes the output to happen. And so the dependent depends upon what the input is. And that's related to what we talked about previously. Your taxes depend upon your income. Your income is the independent variable. And then the taxes are the dependent variable because they're related to that. So that's what we're looking at in these examples. And so you can go ahead and read those examples there. Here are some expressions and equations. And then um, here are um, the beginnings of algebra and calculation. So the, one of the first things you want to make sure you review, you do here and then you do in your prep assignment, is to look at the, these examples here of simplify. You know, you're going to add or subtract. So these are the common, these are the answers for these where you're going to put together the common terms or like terms. Here we use distributive property. You multiply the outside number with everything inside the parentheses, and you can see what we get here. Here is you're going to do a combination of distributive property and um, simplifying the expressions, putting like terms together. And so you, uh, I did another example here where you show it. You can do it in a vertical manner, so you can put those together. Notice there's no equal sign. You're simplifying those expressions versus solving an equation, which we do later on when it has an equal sign. Here, then, you also need to be familiar with this idea of value, evaluate. And so evaluate is this idea you're going to find the value of some expression after you substitute a number into it. And so you can see the work that's done here for A, B, and E, uh, A, B, and E. And then if you were going to do um, C and D, um, if you were going to do C or D, I could squeeze those in with a different color here. If you're going to do C or D in this case here, what's the value of this when X equals negative 2? So you end up with something like this. 5 times negative 2 plus 3. And then what does that equal to? So this would equal to positive 4. It's 12 plus 10 is 22. This would equal to 25 there. And what is LW if these are your, so LW would be equal to 5 times 4 or 20. So that's the idea of evaluating formulas or expressions, um, evaluating expressions or finding what a formula is equal to. And then to finish this lesson off, uh, we go back to uh, that tax bracket situation. And then looking at how we write an equation or an expression to kind of relate these together here. And so going back to um, how much tax they owe in the situation, um, right, uh, given this here, you would see the tax they owe is this amount plus 50% of the amount how much where X is their income. And notice that's related to what we had done earlier right here. Here, we just did it without the formula, without the equation here. This turns into an equation here where x is your income. So compare that to the original one here. You can simplify this formula if you distribute, and then you end up getting what's down here when you distribute that, which gives you that right there. That becomes the actual formula you would use to determine um, the tax you owe after you distribute and combine like terms. Then you can answer question nine. 
again, similar to um, uh, what we did above here, um, look at a different situation here. And so then with that, you can see again, you can end up with these different expressions depending upon how you simplify. And then when you simplify, you end up with a new equation here. So a new formula for text. So take a look at that. That's it.